once the integration is in place, uh, what are the different use cases that we see, Sang, uh, that most of our customers uh, can benefit from with this kind of integration? Yeah, sure. So, uh, number one is just simple, low-cost archiving. You know, once it gets to right. S3, you can leverage the various different classes within S3, um, intelligent tier or uh, infrequent access or any of the different S3 tiers that you want, uh, and and you can save things off. You can put into cold storage if you want, uh, and so it's it's it very uh, cost effective, right? That's right. And and once you get it to S3, it makes it very easy to get it into other parts of the AWS ecosystem, whether that be uh, in uh, a data warehouse like our petabyte scale data warehouse Redshift. Um, and once you get into Redshift, you can uh, run your various different reports against that. Uh, uh, mach you can expose mach uh, machine learning models using that. You can train machine learning models using that data. That's right. Right? Or, or um, it could be the start of your data lake. That's right. Use Athena for uh, data exploration or use our, uh, our, our ETL product, uh, uh, AWS Glue, for example. So yeah, the, the possibilities are uh, endless. That's right. And another similar uh, you know, use case that I have seen that's very popular, especially on the healthcare side of things, where customers are using Salesforce to hold or, or basically store most of the patient medical record is bringing that data to Amazon S3 and then using a technology like Amazon Comprehend Medical mm. to inspect the, the data that is stored in all those artifacts that are stored and then you know run some machine learning to understand what are the different tests that a, a patient have gone through, what are the different coverage options available based on that completely in an automated fashion. So the, this integration is going to unfold a lot of opportunities and potential that most of the enterprises have been waiting for a long time. Yeah, and whatever whatever we glean from uh, those machine learning models, it can be fed back and recorded back into Salesforce. Exactly. Right? And now it's available for all your Salesforce users. That sounds great.